Good morning. Um, today, we are going to do a What's in the Bag for 2020. Now, I know I only did one in September, but a few things have changed, and I was holding off to see if I was going to put the Sim 3 wood in my bag, but I've decided I'm not going to this year. So, let's, uh, let's head to the shop. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour of that, what it's looking like now while we're starting the refurbishment, and um, see what's in my bag for 2020. Here it is. Uh, why do you look absolutely petrified, Bowson? <laughs> Cutie, there yes, you are. Gorgeous little boy. Gorgeous little boy. Right, we've arrived at the shop, so let's have a quick look around and see what sort of progress we're making on the refurbishment. Um, it's been a bit slow, um, but we're getting there. Um, next, this month will be. A big month of putting slat wall up and um, getting stock in so that's really what we've been waiting for so let's have a quick look around so we've still got uh, the clothing on the wall there the orc fitting kit and then I'm making this room here this bit here for uh, other brands fitting kits um, so it's still a bit messy obviously we've still got the simulator uh, in the corner that's not changed and then over here um, We've started to collect second-hand clubs. We've got a few drivers, irons, um, putters and hybrids. And we've got a set there. We've got that Nike VR Pro Blade there here. We've got brand new Cleveland wedges. Uh, another set of clubs. Uh, and then some more just single irons that we've had in. All the drink stuff. There's Rosie. She is down here. Oh, sun's in your eyes, babes. Oh, there she is. Not going to talk again today. No. And then we just started to get balls in and stuff like that. So it's slowly, slowly getting there. And then here's the uh, recording equipment for good old YouTube. So what is in my bag for 2020? Well, let's start with the wand. And this one has changed. Uh, the last time you, I did this, I'm pretty sure I had the Scotty Cameron square back select putter in. Um, from there, I wasn't getting on with it, so I got the Odyssey number 7 in. Um, and found that to be too light, and I wanted something somewhere in between the weight of a Scotty Cameron and the, the stability of the Odyssey 7. And I went for a lesson with Dan, um, and we went through putting, and this came up. This Odyssey... EXO number seven. It's got the Stroke Lab um, shaft in it, which is counterbalanced, and it's also got a lovely thick grip. And this, for me, has got the weight I need and the stability I need. And to be honest, I've been putting pretty well with it. Um, it's taken a while to get used to. I've changed my grip. <clears throat> um, so my grip now is I go down like that to keep the uh, the club more stable. But all in all, uh, my putting has improved dramatically in the last sort of month since my last lesson. Um, in fact, two months I've had this now. So, so far this has been a really good addition to the bag. So the putter is the Odyssey Stroke Lab XO number seven. So moving on from the putter, we get to the wedges. Um, and we've had a change in wedges as well. Last year I was playing the Vokey SM7s. This year I've changed. And this year I'm playing the Srixen RTX4 wedges. And there's actually a reason why I've changed. Um, there's a couple of reasons why. Um, it wasn't because the Vokies weren't any good, because I really enjoyed playing them. But in 2020, I was offered a playing contract for Srixen. Um, to play three wedges, their glove and ball. So this year I'll be using the RTX 4 and I've got 50, 56 and 60. Um, I've got the uh, Tor Issue S400 shaft in them um, and I've got the mid-size grips for these as well. Um, I really can't tell much of a difference between wedges, I'll be perfectly honest with you, um, when it comes to feel. I think these feel a little bit softer than the Vokies. The Vokies can become a little bit clicky sometimes. Um, but to me, a wedge is a bit of a wedge and it's probably not the right analogy to have. But I've played with these for the last month. I've really enjoyed playing with them. Um, 
and I actually prefer this S400 shaft as well. Um, so all in all, we've changed to the RTX4 Cleveland wedges. Um, we've got mid bounces in them all. Uh, and the reason I've done that is because I play along a multitude of courses, whether it's Parkland, Heathland, Lynx, um, and I can't have a wedge for everything. I can't afford a wedge for every scenario, so we just went for normal mid bounce. So we've got 10 in the 50, 10 in the 56, and 9 degree in the 60. Just allows me to open them up a little bit if I need to. So yeah, wedges for 2020. Cleveland, RTX4. Right then, let's move on to irons. Um, and anyone who's watched my channel before will know exactly what these are. These have not changed and probably won't change for a long time um, because I absolutely love them. And they are the Orca RS10 CBs. Um, and I have these in five to pitching wedge. I have to say these are the best feeling irons I've ever used. And I've tested quite a few irons now this uh, last year. Um, and these are just phenomenal when they come off the face. Um, the only difference um, to last year is the Project X shaft. Um, I started with the NH9 Pro, uh, but my swing got a little bit too quick. I was given, presenting a little bit too much loft. So we changed shaft um, and we went to the Project X 6.5 rifle shaft. Um, and that's just brought my ball flight down lovely. And yeah, I will not be changing these for a long time. So five to pitching wedge is the Orca RS10 CBs. Now for five irons where it all gets a little bit complicated for me, um, I have five different options. Um, at the moment I'm loving playing with the four iron and this is a Titleist TMB716 four iron. Uh, it's got the X100 shaft in, really thin grip which I need to change but at the moment I'm loving this iron, where it's going, the ball flight is just so penetrating, I absolutely love it. Um, so, there's the four iron, or we've also got the three iron, um, and this is a Mizuno MP18 MCC high fly. This has got a KBS C taper light shaft in it. Don't particularly like the shaft, but this came in as a trade in. Um, so, the chances are I will probably put. Um, the Project X 6.5 4 iron shift that I've got in and hard step this um, and see how that goes. But at the moment, we're toying with and testing the 4 iron Titleist TMB 716 and the Mizuno MP18 MMC Fly High. Will they stay in the bag? Right, top end of the bag, this is where it gets complicated with three in the 4 iron. Four iron, I want to go about 200, 25. The three iron, I want it to be going 215 to 220 carry. Um, and they are replacements, direct replacements for these, the Orca hybrids. Uh, and it's not because I don't like them. I'm just becoming a little bit of a purist. So hybrids to me, um, I want to try and get away from them. Not because I don't like them. I love these hybrids. Um, and if I need out and out carry distance, uh, wind behind, or softer conditions, then I think these will go in the bag. But I've got options now between 3 and 4 iron or 19 and 22 hybrid. Um, the problem is the more options you have, the more confusing it gets. And that's where my head's at a little bit at the minute. So my next lesson with Dan is going to be a gap test just to find out exactly how far all these clubs go. Because I, although I can gap test here, I find myself not doing it properly if I'm doing it for myself. So me and Dan are going to go through that. But the hybrids, or two of the hybrids in the bag for the three and four iron replacement are the Orca GS5 with tensile blue 80 gram shafts and the old faithful, the MCC Align multi-compound plus four mid-size grips. Hmm. Right, now we come to the real little top end of the bag, uh, three wood sort of stage. And I've got two options again. Um, I've got the 15 degree TaylorMade M6, which let's be honest, will probably never come out of my bag. I was tempted with the SIM. Um, I've not tested it and I'm gonna test it, but I'm gonna find it, think it's gonna find it difficult to replace this because I absolutely love this club. It is stunning and it is, just my faithful, it's my favourite club in the bag. Hazardous yellow shaft, 
6.5 gram, uh, 6.563 grams, so it's low spinning, uh, extra stiff shaft. And I absolutely adore this. But I've got an alternative, and it's the Titleist Hybrid. It's the H2, the 818H2. And this is um, put down to 16 degrees. It's at 17, it's put down to 16. And this has got an 890 gram stiff flex Tense white shaft in it. Um, they both give different ball flights, different distances. So again, it's down to conditions. But the problem is it confuses me, like what to put in. I prefer the hybrid off the deck, um, but I prefer the three wood off the tee. So I think the option is I need to get better with this off the fairway. And then I think this can go. But uh, let's be honest, it'll be probably be a three wood. So the three wood I use, it still is the TaylorMade M6 for with hazardous shaft. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, finally the big stick with the uh, the head cover from that vlog uh, that Fergs loves so well, and of course it is the Titleist TS4 hasn't changed uh, and definitely won't change in 2020. Um, I don't think there's a driver out the sim the Maverick that is likely to replace it. That this low spinning beast will do. Possible change of shaft, um, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna be testing a few different shafts just to, still getting a bit too much spin, but that's down to technique, which I work with Dan with. But we've got the 60 gram 6.0 light shaft in. So I may stiffen this up slightly to see if we can get that spin down, but I'm gonna test that anyway. Um, smaller head, low spin in, and it's at 8.5 degrees at standard settings. And I absolutely love this driver. This is a bomb ball driver. Um, yeah, it's just down to me. It can go anywhere from 260 to 310. It's just down to strike. Uh, the speed's there, is the technique there. We'll have to work on that. But for 2020, the TS4 is going nowhere. So that's the clubs. Uh, what do you think? Let me know, comment down below. Tell me what you think about my choices for clubs for 2020. Glove-wise, uh, we're using the Swixen Cabretta, Cabretta uh, leather glove because uh, we're contracted to use that for 2020, so we'll be using that. And to be fair, I use a lot of leather gloves um, and I quite I prefer these ones because I find that the seams on some others seem to spin round and get to like the pads of the fingers where these haven't done it. I've used them in the past, gone to different brands, uh, but I'm actually really pleased to be wearing these this year. Um, they're so soft, I absolutely love them. Ball wise, we are being using the Swix and Z Stars, both the white and the yellows we're gonna be using this year, um, because we're contracted to use them. I uh, normally use Swix and anyway, normally use the AD triple threes in the winter and the Z Stars in the summer. So this year it will be Z Stars all year round. Great ball, um, good feel, good feel around the greens, good feel off the putter get good distance off it. So yeah, I'm pleased to be using that ball for this year. But I've hoped they sent me enough because I'm gonna be losing a fair few of these. The bag itself, the bag hasn't changed. Um, the bag will be the Orca stand bag or cart bag in the summer. In the winter, I'm looking for a new carry bag. I found this winter, um, I had a Titleist carry bag. Everything was top heavy and fell out. I had a Wilson carry bag. Everything was top heavy and fell out. So this year, I'm gonna be looking for a decent carry bag where it's more angled so all the clubs don't fall out as you're walking. There's nothing worse than having to keep replacing the rain cover to stop the clubs falling out. So that's my challenge for this year. So if anyone's got any recommendations, comment down below, let me know what you use and if you find the clubs falling out the top. But last year, it drove me insane. Um, and I'll be using the Moto Caddy remote as well, the S7 remote for the summer. Uh, love it, the remote's broke at the minute, but that needs to go back, unfortunately. Um, but it still works as a push, as a, an electric trolley. So I'll be using that as well. But that's been my bag for 2020. Let me know what you think, comment down below. Let me know what you think about my bag. Was there anything you changed? Do you think I've got too many choices? Do you think I'm confusing myself with all my choices? I think I probably am. Um, but I'm hoping Dan Hendrickson, the golf guru, can sort me out because this is becoming a little bit too much. A little bit too much for me. Too many clubs, too many decisions, too much like indecision on the golf club. So proper gap testing coming up. Um, hopefully I shall video that or Dan will video that. Uh, and let's see how the bag finalizes. But for 2020, that's what's in my bag.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please remember to give, drop that subscribe button a little press down there. Ring that bell so you're notified of any uploads that I do. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of my bag. Give the video a like. And all in all, that's going to be me for 2020, my bag. So everything you see will be from that bag from now on. But it's been great speaking to you again. And I will see you all again very, very soon. See you later.